What's up guys? And welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. Um today's video is gonna be as you guys can see probably on the title of the video. The M4 is broken once again. God I love when this thing breaks. Anyways, um I guess the valve cover went out, PCV valve, which is this little valve guys um i don't know why bmw invented some such a thing like that but i guess when your car starts whistling or making a sound like a bell uh, tell you exactly where it is you put your you put your ear on it and, and then a little stick. pretty much you got to replace the whole valve cover and that's what i'm gonna do i already got started on it yesterday took the brace off I'm gonna be taking that metal brace off charge pipes intake yada 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 all this so and then we're gonna be doing an oil change on the scat the bins and then chris is gonna be working on his car um all right guys so i already got this far i got the intake off uh the strip bar this is pretty much already about to be ready to come out i'm just gonna be taking out these charge pipes uh i'm gonna be emptying out my uh oil catch can see how much nasty gunk is in there because it's pretty tight if i had intakes i'd probably be It'd probably be more easier to take out, but now that I get the chance, I'm gonna empty it. Um, it's pretty hard when you, when every when the bar's right here to take it out. So I'm gonna be taking it out and see what the oil catch kind of looks like, guys. All right, guys. So I got it out. Look at that. Super nasty oil. Wow, this thing really does its job. It's like <laughs> it looks nasty. Look at this shit. All that shit was in there. I might as well just clean it out now that it's not in there. Mm. But yeah, guys, so let me get uh, finished up here. Take everything out. So I'll get right to the valve cover. Looks like it's going to be a pain of ass just because you got to remove everything. But fuck. And this is what I see so far. I don't know if I did this time. The last time I at the spark plugs and i might have dropped something but this looks like oil to me i don't know if it's coming out of here or what or if it's leaking through here but that's pretty wet um as you can see it's all right there i don't think this valve cover has ever been swapped both look Hi, really rusty it's an original Hi, Kata. so yeah guys i'm just gonna uh prop up the intercooler pretty much what it is and uh get these uh few injectors or the injectors off take the uh coil packs out and then take everything out should be pretty much done after that all right guys so we pretty much finished up here or about to finish up about to put the slap on the new one i did pick this shit up on ebay you can get one on amazon i don't know how good they are but i'll let you guys know if I replace it twice, this is the original OEM. I don't think it's ever been replaced, as you guys can see. But I'm not gonna lie, that fuel line is really hard to take it off. Usually people take this whole shit off. I wasn't gonna do that. So I just kind of pried it up with this right here. I've seen it in another YouTube video. Craig working on his shit over there. And yeah, we'll pick you guys back up when the shit's off. So you guys can see the chrome to your back. There's a lot of fan dangling. Finally got the valve cover off. New valve cover is coming, coming in. I'm not gonna lie, guys. This should low key hard. You probably need like two people, but if you're vicious, you could probably just uh, do it by yourself. But this is my first time doing working on like BMW cars and shit like that. As you guys see in the channel, this is the first BMW I ever had. I'm not gonna lie. One out of ten. Should like a seven, <laughs> eight, maybe. Right, I'm gonna pick back up when I put that slap that one in. It's gonna be for a second for you guys, probably like 40 minutes, 30 minutes for me to jiggle everything back in and put everything back together and then bring the scat in, uh, do oil change on that thing. And then S2 right here looking stockish, no bumper. All right, guys, I just finished cleaning everything up in the corners and shit. Cut my shit. On these things, these shits are sharp. 
really sucks that look how tight it is from the chassis. Those three bolts are gonna be super hard to get to. But like I wanted to remove this right here. But kind of put the valve cover on. All right, guys. So I'm just about done up here, tightened everything up. Hopefully everything is good. I'm um, not gonna lie, guys. When installing this valve cover, the most thing I had like trouble with were these two back screws right here. This one, the corner of this one, and this. And I suggest if you guys get a uh, like an off-brand valve cover like this mitzo or whatever it's called i suggest if you guys have the oem valve cover transfer your guys's old bolts because these bolts low-key they were kind of hard to get in and you guys know it's never good to um to like force anything on and they kind of felt like that so for the two back ones i felt like it was low-key gonna strip the block so i just didn't take any chances and i took the two back i took all the back bolts out and put the ones on that one i should have when i when I uh, installed, I should have did it for all the bolts, but it was already on, guys. So I was just like, oh, well. So I'm going to about to start it up right now, and then I'll make it the car look pretty again. So fingers crossed this works, guys. Um, this is my first time doing this, so I, I wouldn't really know what to tell you guys or how to do it. You just got to kind of go as you see. There's other videos on YouTube as well, but... I kind of wanted to share my experience doing my valve cover. All right, let's let's turn it on. I mean, it sounds pretty good to me, but what when uh, I mean, when I would when I my PCV problem was that when it would warm up, it would it would uh sound like like that whining noise. But right now it's uh pretty good. But let's just we're gonna have to wait wait right, waiting for it to really warm up to see if it continues doing it. But right now it sounds pretty good. I mean, fingers crossed. I don't see any oil leaks or anything either. you don't either huh either. the ones i am worried about are the back ones but man you can't see shit in the back All right, so that just uh sums it up we're gonna be ending today's video with a mission complete on the valve cover uh i haven't drove the car yet but i let it idle for about 30 to 45 minutes no squealing noises and it's, it's not an oem valve cover but we're gonna see how long it lasts if it's even all that good but i want to thank you guys for watching and uh please give this video a like comment and subscribe let me know what kind of things you want to see on the channel and i'll catch you guys on the next one man peace thanks